I really didn't have any go about starting a business. It's really because I noticed that there are lots of uh, American families who adopt the Chinese children. I realized, you know, these families so want to know about China, want their children to learn about their heritage. And that's something I always would like to do, you know, to introduce China, introduce Chinese culture to people. I am Xiaoning Wang. I, I was born in China, in Beijing. My mother, she was really liberal and she always talking about the Western things. And I, I got a little bit influenced, and uh, so I learned to speak English when I was in actually high school. We didn't have TV, so I learned my English from the radio. IBM was one of the first Western companies who had office in Beijing. I had all these American colleagues who are still are very, very close friends of mine. I came first time in 1990, just a visit as a tourist. And I really love New York. I just think this is one of the best cities. And so I always thought if I had the opportunity to live here, I want to come to U.S. talking about China, about Chinese culture, they want to learn things from me. At that time in 1999, there's not many products for children and there's not many books for the families who don't read Chinese, who want to learn about China or learn Chinese language. So I, th I thought, oh, maybe we could put our products on the internet and to sell these products to people who don't have access to Chinatown in mid-America. So that's how I really started. I did everything by myself. I, I take uh, phone orders, I process orders, and I ran to the post office to drop the boxes. Chinese become one of the most popular foreign language uh, in the public and the private schools. So when the, the market of adoption community declined, I actually picked up from the schools. No, this one has to change order. companies, they say the more efficiency or more cost effective, you know, it's really tough for small business to compete with a bigger business. Tennis Brock, can I help you? You know, I still work seven days a week. My life is my work, so my work is my life. I, I don't balance well, I have to say. But the other side is very rewarding. 
these American families who adopt Chinese children, they always say, you know, it, it was you who brought us, you know, so many things so our girls could learn about China and learn Chinese culture. It's not just about making money, it's about, you know, something meaningful.